Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make these really fun uh, bottle cap brooches and magnets. And um, here's the magnet part. And what you need, of course, are bottle caps. And you can either get your own from your beer bottles or I bought them at Michael's in a little container like this, bead landing. And you need some magnets, different sizes, and these brooch clasps. You can get all of this at Michael's. And I bought this paper. These um, are already designed for bottle caps, and I bought them on eBay at Lisa's Altered Art. And um, I will post the link in the down bar or the description box. And you need glossy glaze. This one's called Glossy Accents from Ink Essentials. I also bought this at Michael's. You need a little bit of craft glue. And E6000 is great glue for um, attaching the magnet or the brooch clasp attachment. You need some scissors, paper towel, and that's about it. So I have already um, pre-cut these little images that we can put into our bottle caps. You can also cut out um, your own photos of your family, make a great gift for sisters, brothers, whoever. Um, okay, so start with a dab of glue on the center of your bottle cap. Just some nice craft glue to attach the paper and not too much because you don't want any weird bubbles. it. Just attach your perfect little image in the center and press down. There, how easy is that, eh? You can also flatten these um, with a mallet and you can drill a hole and you can um, turn them into charms or necklace pendant. Now, when you first attach the um, glossy accents, it's a little bit of a milky color and you have to let it dry for about 24 hours and then it ends up looking like this. And just make sure you don't have any air bubbles. But before I put the glaze on, once we do that, then I can't add anything else. So I will just add the magnets on the bottom. Now this stuff is great, but it's also very gooey and very um, toxic smelling. So take care when you're using it. So anyway, put a little dab on the bottom of your magnet and attach your magnet to your bottle cap. And it's cool because it's the magnet wants to be there. There. brooch clamps, um, then you're going to have to find something to kind of hold the um, bottle cap level because it, I'll show you in a minute. There we go. So those two are ready for a glaze. And do the brooch. Two different sizes here. Size. There. 
also let the um, E6000 let it dry overnight before you actually use these. Oh, just a little more dab. I'm going to close this. Oh, it's very strong smelling, but it's fantastic, so it's worth it. Aren't these great? So quick and easy. Make great presents. Okay, see, so what I meant by these guys, they're a little bit lopsided like that, so it's not good to put the glaze on. So you find something that you can um, use to kind of make it level later on. So you put your glaze in and then find a place where you can... There, beside the scissors, somewhere where your bottle cap will be level. Or you can do the glaze first and attach the clasp on afterwards. That might even be easier. Okay, so here we go. Don't shake this. You don't want any air bubbles. I started to shake, I totally forgot. So just no shaking. And just pour, oh, maybe an eighth of an inch. you cover the entire surface of your image and then all you have to do is let it dry see so I'll show you here in a sec it's got a kind of a milky there it's a bit milky looking but after about 24 hours it'll be completely transparent like this one the same stuff for this one. Okay, put him down. And we'll do the other one. Fly. And this is great for any other that you want to kind of shine up something paper there we go beautiful once these are dry I'll take a photo of them for you so thanks so much for watching and um, hope you enjoy this project and I'll see you in my next video thanks again bye for